<laughs> Did I ever tell you the time Jerry Lewis sued me? Did I ever tell you that story? What? Real quick story. This was pre-war. What, like World War II? <laughs> no. Were we fighting the Kaiser? So this war, this war. This was before the war in Iraq when Bush was still in office. And okay. you remember when the French were saying, you should let the inspectors look to see if for weapons of mass destruction before yes. you go in there with the tanks. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and Bush was like, I don't think so. My eyes are recovered, Ralph. Take me to that magical place where so many famous people are on the Spot Castle stage. And so Congress had changed the name of French fries to Freedom Fries. Do you yes. remember this era? So yeah, on the radio it affected show, affected me because it's food. On the on the radio show, we decided yes. we would extend the olive branch to the French. Yes. Because of the tension that was coming between the French and the American point of views, and we said, who better to do it? Than Jerry Lewis. So we got a number of random phone numbers in Paris, and we decided to call people up in Paris, and I would do Jerry Lewis and tell them <laughs> that we still want to be friends here in America. Okay. Bad idea for a bit. Not that funny. But the button was, we had the number for the French Palace, where Jacques Chirac was still the president, and we were right. going to call the French Palace, and they would say something to us in French and hang up, and ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. that would be the end of it, go to commercial. Right. So we dial a bunch of people in, Fran in France, and I'm like, yes, this is Jerry Lewis, because they love Jerry in France. He's huge over there. They gave him the French, uh, what is it, the Order of France Legion or something of like that. Legion of Honor or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is Jerry, and I just want you to know that us here in America, we love you. And we're hoping that all the thing with the Saddam and the Hoi with the Who and the uranium doesn't make a problem. So I'm calling these people and they're like, oh, oh, yes, Mr. Lewis, thank you. Yes, we love America, blah, blah, blah. So we call the French, uh, we call the French presidential palace at the end. Mm -hmm. And I say, yes, this is Jerry Lewis, American for the French president, Mr. G Monsieur Girac. Can you uh, please put him on the phone? And we hear, click. <laughs> And so we say, all right, that's what we expected. So we don't hang up our end of the phone. And we go to commercial. And it turns out that what you bet you bet you bet you it was not fuck off. It was, please hold. I'll get the president for you. <laughs> the fuck out of here. So we don't hang up our phone. And we're in commercials. And we're, we're, we're the, and we always sit here. Yes, uh, Mr. Lewis, uh, the President Chirac for you. Please hold. And we go <laughs> and shit our pants. And we roll tape, and, hello, Jerry, this is Jacques Chirac, how are you? The fuck out of here, man! <laughs> now, I'm the guy on the other end. And I say, hello, Monsieur President, yes, this is Jerry, and I just want you to know, the whole thing with the French and Americans with the badness is not good for the... Hi. <laughs> and we have an eight-minute conversation about the potential war in Iraq. And we come out of commercials after it's over, and we broadcast. We put it on air. So you won't believe what just happened. We thought we were hung up on, but it turns out Jacques Chirac was just waiting to get to the phone, and here is what happened, and we play it. Well, the shit hit the fan. <laughs> the French consulate in Los Angeles calls us. Our lawyers call us. Jerry Lewis lawyers call us. And I am forbidden for ever telling this story. I'll probably go to jail tonight because I told this story. <laughs> but Jerry Lewis sues us. K-Rock? Or Kevin and Bean? Or The Morning Show? Or Yes. <laughs> Anybody with a name and a bank account, Jerry sued us. Right. For, and this is my favorite part of the legal document that we got served with, damaging his standing in the international community. <laughs> like there's presidents with fucking red phones with Jerry Lewis's name on it all over the world. Just, uh, I don't know what to do with this situation. I hope Lewis calls soon. <laughs> Hello, King of Sweden? Yes, here's what I think you should do with your border conflict. You make some fondue. Hey, you like cheese. <laughs> so, he sues us. And our, our lawyers are assholes. And they settled out of court. We had to write a big check to the Muscular Dystrophy Association or something, which is fine, which is great. But I was sworn never to talk about or play that audio or everything ever again. And I'm doing it here tonight because... because I guess my baby doesn't need food or shoes or clothing. I don't know. I'm not quite sure why I said that story, but that's my Jerry Lewis story. Now I know why your lady married you, man. She's like, he is dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Mother, may I sleep with danger? I'm an outlaw. I play by my own rules. That is awesome, man. That's tremendous. Yeah. What did he sound like? 
Schrock? Was he speaking in English? English and made perfect sense. And you know about the war. About like, the war. You just like, slip where you're like, I agree like, with you. Listen, I gotta play it for the audio for you sometime. I don't know yeah. if we're gonna play it on here or not. I don't know if I get into legal trouble or not, but literally when like uh, so anyway, Monsieur President, we're just so fucking concerned about this crazy motherfucker Saddam with the whole things and the bombs and the hooey and the blowing up. And we're concerned. He's like Jerry, I uh, share your concerns, but I think we can wait and let the UN inspectors do their job. And there's <laughs> always time to go into the country and liberate those people from their situation. But shouldn't we really have all the facts first? And I'm basically <laughs> going, fuck, yeah, he's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay, with the, hey, and my favorite part, I'm, again, you got to hear the audio, but it's like, so anyway, thank you for your time, Monsieur President. Jerry, next time you're in Paris, please come by the presidential palace. I'd love to come by and meet you and have you stop by the house and we can have dinner. Yes, I'll be there. Hey. That's when I really felt bad because this dude really thought he was talking to Jerry Lewis. So weird. But we never thought in a million years when we called this generic number to the French palace that we would get the president. Dude, actually, so you true. calling Obama and saying, Kevin Smith, I'd like to talk to Obama about mall rats, please. Can we please? <laughs> I'd like to know what he thought about it. <laughs> could the and second act of you some tightening up? Could he's be... sitting in his office and fucking like his secretary's like, um, you're never going to believe this one. Uh, there's a filmmaker who made mall rats. He'd like to speak to you. And it just happened to catch him in a nexus of cross streams, a perfect storm of a slow day. Yep. Where he's just like, how do you get through? You know what? Put him up. <laughs> That would be amazing, man. We were thinking afterwards, what was he not tending to while he was talking to Jerry Lewis on the phone about... They're like, we're yeah, hungry in saying. France. We need your help, Jacques Chirac. He's like, quiet, I'm talking Please. to Jerry Lewis. I have uh, Le Nutty Professor on the phone. <laughs> so that's that rocks, like, dude. That's man. like Jerry Lewis' story. You got to hope he sticks around for a few more years. So he can be sue me crazy. some more? Yeah, and make crazy phone calls left and right. <laughs> Let's call up and order a pizza, Jerry Lewis. <laughs>